Yeah, Mayor Brandon Johnson, State's Attorney Kim Fox, and the head of the Civilian Office of Police Accountability all holding a news conference about an hour ago to discuss the release of that police body cam video. Now, this involves a confrontation between five tactical Chicago police officers and a man named Dexter Reed Jr. that happened on March 21st in the 3800 block of West Ferdinand in Humboldt Park. Now, the officers had stopped Reed because they say he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Now, we want to show you just a portion of the video released, that body cam video released by COPA earlier today. The doors now. The report by the Civilian Office of Police Accountability found that police fired 96 shots in about 41 seconds. But they also say it appears the suspect, Reed, was the first one to fire a weapon, the bullet striking a Chicago police officer in his hand. Now, Reed's family has hired well-known civil rights attorney Andrew Stroth. They're questioning the use of deadly force by Chicago police. State's attorney Kim Fox said her office is also conducting an investigation of this confrontation, but she pointed out that the standard of proof is much higher in her office for a criminal case than it is for COPA, a civilian agency. The head of COPA said they wanted to get all the video and documentation out as quickly as possible so nobody could be accused of trying to conduct any kind of a cover-up. And she also talked at length about the preliminary findings of their investigation into what exactly happened. Within less than a minute, an exchange of gunfire occurred, leaving Mr. Reed dead and an officer shot in the forearm. Preliminary information and available evidence appears to confirm that Mr. Reed fired first, striking one officer. The same information also confirms that four different officers returned fire approximately 96 times. Shooting a police officer can never be condoned. Never condoned, never excused. I will never stand for that and neither will the city of Chicago. And we also have to be very clear that we hold our police to the highest of standards. Mayor Johnson also adding that he's uh, asking the public to remain calm, saying it's in everybody's best interest to let the investigation play out, both by uh, COPA and the state's attorney's office, to determine exactly what happened. Reed's family is going to be holding a news conference a bit later this hour, we're told, with their attorney, Andrew Stroth, uh, in front of the Civilian Office of Police Accountability offices on the west side. For now, live at City Hall, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. Back to you. And this is it. St. Sabina Pastor Michael Flager released a statement asking questions about the police stop over what the police say was a seatbelt violation. It says, quote, tech officers jumping out and surrounding a car with guns drawn is excessive. I will be scared out of my mind. Also, I thought that the jump out boy teams were being abandoned. He's now calling for a thorough and honest investigation. Now, we are going to take a look outside of the COPA headquarters where we are waiting the family of Dexter Reed to speak. We will bring that to you live when they do. We have much more on this story throughout the show today at noon.